great video. This point, it's very I'm going sweet. To get another little camera going so that we can <gasps> put this Ooh. section of the show onto YouTube. 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 There we go. I want to talk about. Whew, Oh, relax. Let it out. Let it out. Right. I want to talk about a new release from Panini. Now, we don't have to talk (gasps) about Panini because they are, you know, I I collect trading cards and the trading cards that I collect are by and large American because for me, Mm -hmm. the comics that they're based on, especially with Marvel, are Americana. And so it's important for me to have, you know, trading cards from America. And with it, they were produced in America first, and you know, yes, other countries have license to produce them, but they're not the American cards. And in mm-hmm. most cases, they're not they're not up to snuff in terms of the quality. Very much no. not up to snuff, especially the stuff that the Rittenhouse and Upper Deck put out. You know, there's nothing even close no, to that. I mean, it's very hard to compete quality, to that. The print, you know, the yeah. quality of the cards. Um, but this one caught me eye. So Panini, who have the license for Europe for um, Marvel cards and stickers mm. have put out, and they also do comics, um, but they do reprints. So they do, like, and they're about 18 months after the US stuff. And they may be put, so say if you've got X-Men series, they'll do an, an, a hundred page X-Men book that goes into news agents every four weeks. And it'll be a compilation of maybe two or three different X-Men stories that hit the shelves on a certain month. So if you had a nice. multi-parter, it's actually quite a nice, affordable way of reading it. You know, but um, I like it. It is. It's um, anyway. So they put out. I'm going to hold this to the camera here. The pictures of this will be on the tasting notes. So it is a Marvel 80th anniversary set of stickers with a sticker album, and you can see what I'm holding up here is a starter pack. It's called the Marvel 80 Years Anniversary Sticker Collection brand new it says and i i saw Ooh. this in my local supermarket last week and i put a post on the group and immediately people started wagging their tails because i'm still wagging my tail in it well yeah we'll come on to that mm. um in every pack that you have here in every single pack you have four stickers and one card okay <laughs> That was an interesting noise. I'm going to That's good, right? Ringtone. Um, That's how it goes. It was, it was good. Don't do it again. It's upsetting. Um, uh, well, I will stop. Yeah, the, the, the dog will stop. But... What? Sorry, go ahead. Let's keep going. Um, the... <laughs> you really made me lose my plot now. I'm so sorry. You my got this. My daughter's got a baby so... dragon that hatches out of an egg, and it makes exactly that noise. That's what the noise was. You're welcome, then, because now so, you get to hear it um, all the now, time. Now, in this starter pack, which is £3.99, so it's about $5 US, yes. you have a sticker album, and you have four sealed packs in there. You can see them there. I see them. Um, and inside each of those is four stickers and a single card. So you're thinking to yourself, hang on a minute. The sticker album says it includes 22 stickers and four cards. Well, I'll show you <gasps> in a moment. Because in those four packs is, is four times four, which is 16. So I have an opened one here, which oh. is coming. I should have got this ready, actually. So here's an open album. Yay. Quite nice, quite nice and glossy. I like it. And on the back, it's got. Ooh. Okay. So good stuff. What we've got here is, when you open it, you have, you'll see there. There's oh. a little. What this is. Deck it's, box. It's a box for the card, so you could you could push that out of it because it's kind of perforated. You could push that out mm. and make a little kind of like a playing card box to hold the trading card set. And there are mm-hmm. 50 trading cards, five zero. Okay. But you've also got two stickers there on that little folding. Ooh. Yeah. And then those are nice. The, those are actually really nice. They yeah. look great. And then four more Holy crap. The back here. So okay. that's the extra six stickers. So in the back, in the actual album you set itself, you have six stickers. And then you have this little card box. Mm. And then on the inside front cover of the album, this is tiny, so you won't be able to see this knowing, but I'll hold it up to that camera. You have a card checklist it and is. it's pictorial. So what it is, is it has all of the cards. Sorry, hang on a minute. You're on that camera. Oh, I see it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I got you. And it is rather 
It's a rather nice size set, you know, 50 cards. So that means 50 packs, basically, assuming perfect collation. Mm. Now, the packs with four stickers and one card are 90p each. So that's a dollar each. So basically, you're saying a dollar card. Not bad. Go at it that way. Not bad. You know, I like it. Comparable quality. Now, it's not original art, but what they've done is they've taken it from, I tell you, the artists who are in it, majority of it is Alex Ross. Oh, boy. Okay. That's amazing. Alex Ross artwork, and it's the artwork, a lot of it is covers he's done, like alternate covers. So when we do this video, I imagine that this will be actually on the screen all this while. I'm yes, I will put it on the screen. The crazy part about this is that not only is it Alex Ross, right? Plenty of covers from him, um, which, yeah. Then we also have Gabriel Del Otto. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was one more, right? Sinkevich is in there. Sinkevich, of um, course. In fact, there's a stunning Sinkevich. There's Phil Noto, Mike yes. Dedato Jr., Marco... Um, Jurjevic, Lucio Perello, uh, John Tyler Christopher, Bill Everett. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a start. Major I'd say 75% of it's Alex Ross. Um, these are, and just to note, these are some of the biggest artists and some of the most yeah. exciting art from these artists mm -hmm. on these cards. And you just don't get this very often where you see artwork like this. Alex yeah. Ross did have some cards that were in the set of mm07 and mm08 right. um but this is just really exciting yeah. we haven't had a lot of this in a while but this and is, this these is actually cover, look this, really these cool are, these are variant and in some cases main cover pieces mm -hmm. they've done and what they what they've done is effectively they've put them into cards but without any of the overlay so they're like virgin covers that you get which are usually the beautiful so it's a really nice way of owning them some of them are absolutely stunning Mm -hmm. Now, the, the exciting bit here, which is the bit that's tickled you, is that Silver Surfer is one of the cards, and it's the Gabrielle Delotto cover. Now, Black Cat isn't in here at all, either in the cards what? or the stickers. <laughs> so hey, this is a rare opportunity where Damn. Surfer is in a set and Cat's not. See? She kind of deserved it, if I can say anything. Yeah, I was going to say, that, that's karma. That's that karma. She kind of had it coming. Um, she's been in everything. So when you go through the album, <laughs> you'll see there's a space for each sticker. Yes. Okay? And it kind of goes through the 80 years of Marvel. So it's obviously, it's jumping around a little bit and it can't fit every single thing in. So you've got 40s and you've got, oh, where are we? 50s. So there's only two pages on each of those because they skip through that. Then they get into the 60s. Mm-hmm. And then, so basically, you can see you've got, there's a page with Surfer on yeah. there. There you go. There's your boy. Yeah, yes, boy. Famous, That's that famous. Um, famous cover. No, Joe Sinnott. Yeah. Uh, Joe Sinnott? No, uh, no. Maybe? No, it's not. No, I think that's Kirby. It is Kirby, isn't it? Yes. Sorry. Uh, he's, he's on my mind because Joe Sinnott, R.A.P. Yeah, passed away last week. Sad loss. 93, yeah. though. 93. Wow. What a legacy. Um. Seriously. And it's got a whole section here. It's just, it's just brilliant. It goes through, and you've got all the great artwork from that period. Um, I'll put, I'll give you scans of these. Seventies, the expanding the cosmos goes through. So basically, what you've got is that some of this, some of the stickers in the in typical fashion, the stickers are smaller than trading cards. They're they're about maybe ten, twenty percent smaller, and some mm. of them are front covers. Some of them are sort of twin stickers that that cover a particular like scene or, or splash page or something like that. It goes into the 80s and some of them are literally just like, you can see that venom there. So the sticker will be that Orange. portion of the artwork, mm -hmm. um, which, is, which is very clever. And then, so here is Reborn there, you can see there's a slot for two stickers to go side by side. Ooh. Just there. Wow. Um, when you go through it, you keep going through it, and it comes up to date. There's a whole page on like, Marvels, um, obviously, because that was kind of a big thing. Um, what I like about it is this is the first set, although it's not. This is this is in the stickers part, not the cards part, where there is a card that features um, House of X, Powers of X. From last year. Ooh, that's and cool. And I'll show you that sticker in a moment. Um, focus on the world outside your window, which touches upon real events in Marvel Comics. So there's a little bit there about the 9-11 scene, Spider-Man, nice, yeah. um, Magneto, um, and the Holocaust and things like that, drug addiction stories, school. These are really stories. lovely. So 
it covers it. It's quite Other nice. It's, it's quite nicely done, I think. Um, There's the a stickers... hardcover version of this as well, just so people know. Of this album? Of the book. No, there isn't. Yeah. Where? <laughs> I'll send you a link. <laughs> no, seriously, because because Panini haven't released a hardcover version of this, so there's a the hardcover version of it. I can show it to you. What for the stickers to go in? Yeah, send the thing the you're right holding now. now. There is a hardcover version. Yeah, well, this is kind of cardboard, but it's you know it's a thin album. You know, it's only I'll got 40, 45 pages. Please send this to me. I would like to see it. It's fifty it pages. Now. This is, and then the end of the book is a comic story. Oh, nice. Focusing on Captain America, which is 10 pages. Oh. And you can see that you can actually see the artwork underneath where the sticker would go. But the coloured part is with the sticker. So ah, it goes over it. That's and cool. this is a story that appeared in the recent Marvel Comics Presents run. Um, and it appeared in there because that, that, that has two or three stories a week. Um, and it doesn't actually credit... It's annoying. It hasn't got the credits on there for who the artist is. Let me have a look. But in the All inside right, back the cover, in the inside back cover, it's got just a little like tells you which issues the different sticker images appear from the artist. That's that cool. Thing. So it's kind of a nice little little thing. Um, and at the bottom, you can complete your collection. You can order up to forty stickers and five cards from Panini.co.uk. Um, hmm. So if you were missing some stuff, um, it doesn't actually rather annoyingly give me the credits for that comic story at the end so we've looked at the album i'm going to quickly look at this link and at this point let's have a look oh, you're telling me there's a hardcover there's a hardcover it's pretty oh it's different country uh different territory okay there we go that's why i've not seen it is it germany mm, no it looks spanish spanish uh, oh it's brazil brazil Brazil. So yeah, Panini have got licenses all over the place. So if you want a hard cut, see, I wouldn't go for it because it's not in English. I see what you're saying. I'm like that. What can I say? So let me show you some of the stuff. Let me show you some of the Gosh, stuff. So I've got yeah. my pile of dupes here. Open your mind, dupes. bro. Right. Do you want to look at stickers first or do you want to look at... Uh, the... I think you know. I'm okay with either or, actually. Okay. <laughs> I don't. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> So there's a oh let's do stickers first yeah there's a half there's one of the Captain America so that's, oh. that's clearly the top half of the cover these these are dupes by the way I've got I've got the majority of the set over there but that's nice got my dupes pile here and um, they, they are obviously quite thin because they're designed to be stuck down just, right of course they've just got a plain back there wow you can actually see through it you know so um, there's definitely an overlap between trading card collectors and sticker collectors oh absolutely I can't tell you how many people have sent me sticker options yeah. surfer. Yeah. And asked me if I had them. Well, we'll come on to that. And I, of course, I bought them because there's you know, the bottom the half of the Days of Future Past. <sighs> what a good cover! Yeah, X Men one four one. I want to say, I think it's one four one. Ooh, good one. Um, and there is uh, so that's sticker number eighty five. So sticker eighty four would go just above that, just here. Mm. And you'd have both parts of it if you were able to stick it down. That's the thing, you know. You got now. On the back of the album, one of the interesting things, and one of the guys in the group said, oh, yeah, it looks like there's parallels as well. Because on the back of the album, it says, and I'll hold oh, that God. up there, it says, look out for special foil stickers. So there's 192 <sighs> stickers. Look out for special foil ones. And, and that, someone has misread that because they, they think of it in terms of trading cards and especially the American market. It just okay. so happens that some of the stickers are foil. That's all it is. Thank God. Yeah. Because um, it's just it's just a set you know, the, the 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 kind of the way I describe it is you remember when DVDs first came out and interactive yes. menus was one of the special features <laughs> and chapter selection was one of the special features. It's like the X Men movie know, had a really good yeah. interactive yeah. feature. Like you were in the danger room. I don't know if people yes. remember that. I know, I've got yeah, that. I love that. The Austin yeah, Powers one was brilliant because they filmed special. Did you ever stuff. see the blooper thing? Oh, Austin Powers. Yeah, That's they right. filmed special stuff for the for the yeah. menus. Yeah, yeah. So he used to go, that's he used right. to go, click it, baby, and he used to point to the Yeah, that's the screen, right. Yeah. And he'd pop um, up on the screen. So this yeah, is a foil yeah, yeah. one. So I'll hold it up there. So it's just got a foil border, and ooh, majority ooh. of the time they're where you've got a comic cover. So this is a Adventures into Terror. Oh, so like that red square in the book that we saw a couple of times—that's yeah. where the foils would yeah. go. Got Basically, it. Yeah. 
really nice. Um, and some of them are just internal scenes that in and of themselves don't really make sense as, a, as an individual thing. So they're designed clearly yeah. to be. Uh, some of them are brilliant. Um, this one, you can't really see it, but can you just oh. see there's a, there's a, but the, yeah, there's a, but there's a panel in there. So you don't take out the whole oh. stick. You just take out the middle part and that fills a gap. Oh. You can't really see it, but there's a line. So Great giant X-Men. Uh, great Tomb cover. of Dracula, but that's not a foil one, but that's an amazing cover. I love that cover. I love all that stuff. Uh, yeah. There's some internal stuff. There's a Punisher one there. Damn. I think what's really fun is that all these characters are... I mean, these are just such iconic covers. It's cool to have them in card and sticker form. Fantastic. So oh, I'd right. say probably about a third of the stuff is, is comic covers, and the rest of it is kind of interior. Nice. panels or sections that will make a bigger picture with where you put it in the album what a fun uh, thing to collect too man it is yeah they're nice i like them ah nah, that's right issue one um the one i was uh doing this is the bottom half of a captain america puzzle oh cool. seriously this will have pancake chasing his absolute tail because yeah he's gonna so have to get the whole set in this. poor guy uh tales to astonish lots of you know tales to astonish covers brilliant stuff of course um, great stuff uh, this is possibly my favorite tube so far Ooh. you see that it's a daredevil cover it's the frank it's the born again oh that's cool look at that it's like i said it's very thin very thin you know because it's a sticker lovely I love it's that. beautiful so so there's that now what i wanted to say to you was um on, on the dupes front, my friend, mm -hmm. <gasps> you have this coming. Yes, through. yes. Okay. Oh, so that's a dupe. That's a dupe of the sticker with Infinity Gauntlet cover. Perfect. And Surfer is on there. Yes. So I'll put One that four. carefully into a uh, into a top loader for you, and that will you not go God. in. This is another dupe, and this this one's going to be going to Omega, but he doesn't know it yet because he's big fan of that spider-man one cover todd McFarlane. he has one. tons of good stuff yeah pertaining to that um, number one unfortunately cover. not not a red foil board of this one they just chose uh, that would have looked great board, but that would have looked good so that's nice beautiful artwork whatever form it comes in wow. uh, and some of the red foil borders aren't covers as well mm, oh, that's an interesting that's an so like their internal scene. scenes or whatever wow interesting that beautiful it's a nice little set. It is a it nice really little is. set. Um, where are we? Yeah. There's some Alex super Ross stuff expensive from Marvels. That's, uh, ah, <laughs> that's cool. Giant, Giant man. man. Yeah. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, Astonishing X-Men with Josh Whedon, John Cassidy. Ah, those covers, man. So iconic. Beautiful. And that's a nice foil order one. So you could you can actually get yourself a nice little subset just of the, uh, co of the covers. You, wow. you wouldn't have to have all these interior panels. Uh, mm -mm. And there'll be pictures of all the uh, Frank. Frank is going to get this one from me, which is a red foil. Iron oh, nice! Man. I think that's Extremis Iron Man. Lucky, that's really so, nice. You know, I'm going to hook up hook up the crew. That's um, a good one with red foil too. Uh, there's a Sam Wilson as Captain America one there. I don't think Pank. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know if Pank it does the variations of Cap because uh, there are I don't tons. I think he does that many actually. Uh, there are tons, yeah. There's cap, there's always cap, all sorts, and there's some um, interior. Yeah, draw the line somewhere. And then these are the ones <laughs> from that comic story at the end. So you can see there, that's just oh, something cool. that yeah. you'd stick in to be part of that story. Wow. It's about Captain America riding motorbike with a young young lady. Miss um, Marvel. So those, uh, yes, it is. Um, and this is this is most of the 192 stickers. So it doesn't because uh, they're quite thin, as I said. Whoa. That's most of it. So I'm probably about 30 short at this point. That's crazy. It is. It is crazy. Um, I think I've spent wow, almost about have a full as much set. as That's I fast. can uh, at the moment. Nice. Good um, for you. I'm just looking for that Powers of X, House of X cover that I saw. But for the life of me, I, ah, there it is. Oh, it's just stunning. So I'm really hoping Marvel Annual from Upper Deck does a subset with these covers in this year. If that's not the comic cover subset for Marvel Annual, 2019-20 big mistake i'm getting jason on the phone quite frankly um because the covers and the variant covers that's the most series. dangerous part now now we have right. someone to call yeah i don't i think you'll very quickly stop taking our calls yeah the case. just a little bit uh for just jason a bit. i don't have a dupe of this yet but for jason 
There's a Spider-Man 2099 cover. Hey, that's so, a good one too. You know, we will. I'm going. My tasting notes are going to be a nightmare for this episode, so I'm going to stop at this point. Um, yes, because I'm sharing virtually every single sticker in the set. You're probably sitting there thinking, <laughs> Ian, what about the cards? So let's look at the cards Ooh. now. The, I almost forgot the stickers look so good. Yeah. Now the tricky thing about that, the they're beautiful cards, by the way. Now the thing is, because the packs, where are the packs? Where are the packs? They should be like paper, right? Where are the packs? Look, my friend, we're about mm. to open some. Oh no way! Really? Yeah, we've got four. <gasps> so basically, what they are, they are done like the stick about. They are literally just uh -huh. sealed paper. paper. So it's very, very, very easy because they're not perforated. It's very easy to ding the corners. And Ugh. it's very easy to buy packs where some of the corners have been dinged. You kind of just have to live with it. The production quality is good, but the cutting on the edges, you can see it's a bit off, you know, so it's, it's not yeah. upper deck quality, you know. No. But I want to show you this one. This is Doctor Strange by Alex Ross. Look at the spot wow. UV on that card. When you no have way. it, in is hand, that what they're doing? Yeah, it's no amazing. Way. There's three different levels. There's a matte, there's a soft gloss, <gasps> and then, then there's a high gloss spot UV on each card. And they highlight certain sections of the, the artwork with it. So it's, it's really nicely done. Okay, I'm going to be honest. These are actually yeah. crazy pretty. On the back, it doesn't have any. So I'm going to hold that up to this camera because that'll come out better. Wow. You know, that's astonishing. So basically, you've got that there. On the back, it doesn't have anything apart from the card number and the logos just says c9 wow. of 50. yeah i think it. mine's so c35 yeah it is it doesn't have the art doesn't have the character name doesn't have the artist credited at all what no no credit for the artist or the character i think panini i think you you've missed a trick there so while it's a nicely put together set it could have been done with a little bit more care I would say. 35 point, right? That's the thickness of the card? Uh, Just so people know. Maybe a touch, then maybe 30. But it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's high it's gloss good. front and back. Um, this is Thor. Do they all have that effect, that gloss? Yeah, yeah. in different areas. <sighs> I got to admit, that's really exciting. It is beautiful. It's really nice. Okay. Can't see anyway. Some of them come out better than others. The Scarlet Witch. So this 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 dupe will go to Matthew DeMars. Hey Matthew. Hey Matthew. You can see Scarlet Witch is entirely <gasps> gloss. Oh my god. Look at that. It just gives a really nice depth to the um And how there's fifty of these, right? There's fifty of them. So there's one per each of those. Packs. That's gonna be a good set to get. I am maybe ten short of the set at this point. Really? Um I basically went yeah, today and I bought, I bought the rest of what um, my local supermarket had on the shelves. So I've got majority of the contents of one box that they put out because they took it out of the box and just put it on the shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, wow. And yeah, this one is beautiful. So this is card number 11. Can you see that the Avengers in the four? Wow, the yes. Oh, you need to show the audience because that yeah. looks amazing. We'll have this on screen as well, I think. So, yeah. Sorry, buddy. I'm I can be honest. Enjoy. I think these are some of but my these are beautiful favorites. Things. So, you know, if you can live with the fact that the production quality, you know, this one is a little bit, just a tiny bit rough on the corner there. Just yeah. from cutting. Just from cutting. So, you know, that's not pack damage, but yeah. But, really, you know, I got to be honest. The effect is really what is, right. I can't believe it. Like, I did not Hold expect on to your that. pants. Hold on to your pants. Jonathan my Delgado, Jonathan, is going to get this one. Look at what they've done with Wolverine on that. Wolverine is entirely gloss. The background has, that's a matte in the foliage, and then there's a soft gloss just behind him. Isn't Holy crap. It's really nice. It's really nice. It's just I'm really taken back by this. What, this is what, really lovely. What I like about it is that, <laughs> you wait till you see the next one I'm going to show you, Sinkovich, Nick Fury. <gasps> Look at what they've done with the eye patch. That's gloss. They've used it sparingly. Because on Sinkovich, I'll show the audience that looks yeah. amazing. On Sinkovich's artwork, it doesn't. And and on the eyesight for the gun, just there, there's spot. 
UV. Now, the interesting thing about this is that in many, is that a gun? It looks like a gun. It could be, yeah, I think it is a gun. Yeah, he's holding it. Um, new cards that would be produced, you wouldn't have the gun under current guidelines. Yes, very true. Very true. Um, this is an Iron Man and Spider Man. An Iron Man is entirely UV coated. Ooh. Mm. Nice. These are my dupes. Mm. This one is weird what they've done with the UV because of the type of artwork that it is. Kingpin, and it's the scariest card. Oh, that's sick. It's interesting, isn't it? Look at that. That's Stuff a great looking card. Right there. I love that. So so it's this artwork you don't often see on trade. You don't see on trading cards at all. This is Daredevil, and again, they've UV'd some of him. Not all of him. See. People are going to be really excited because people have been waiting for a Del Otto kind of like set of original art for cards. And oh, God, that looks so good. Okay. So these and this dupes. is kind of a way of getting around that. I yeah, mean, this is the. Yeah. Those are my dupes. So I'm going to reach down here. I don't now. I'm going, to, I'm going to bury the lead here. I don't have a surfer card yet. I've not pulled one. Right. That's so, totally fine. Um, but if you pull like one, said, you'll need one for the set. Though. Well, that's what I mean. So, but what I'm saying is yeah. I can order five cards to complete my set. So you're, you're, you're sorted. I'll get you. I a feel server. bad though. Yeah. You don't no, have no, no. to. No, no, mate. They're, they're like ridiculous. Uh, like for ridiculously uh, small amount of money. Wow. Um, so I've got most of the, the one I wanted to show you. Oh my goodness. And just to so repeat many. to people, you won't be able to get this in America. Ah. Um, well, no, I'll come on to that. I'll come on to that. Yeah, you can get the set. You know, you can get the you can get it in America for Panini America, but it's a very different distinction. Is that in Panini America, it advertises five stickers per pack with no mention whatsoever of a card, whereas in the UK and Europe, it's four stickers and one card per pack. That's because Panini don't have a license to make cards for the US. Upper deck bit. So you cannot get the cards from Panini America. Get the stickers. So yeah, you got to come to Europe. Good for this. stuff. European exclusive. Um, Captain America. Oh, Alex Ross. Pankit is going to go nuts for that one. Um, He's going to lose his mind. It's just wonderful. It's just brilliant. It's such a such beautiful artwork, and that's why I've kind of gone for it. You know, I, I, you know, I, I, UK releases are usually not that good quality. All their trading card games, even when they do come out. I have to say, some these are some of the nicest ones I've seen. Sinkovich, Electra. And no further questions. Ooh. If there's an artist who does Electra, it's got to be Bill. And look at that glot. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Alexa's getting involved. There we go. Just wow. That is stunning. It's stunning what they've done with the Alexa. Uh, these Electra. must look great in nine page, too. They by the way. do. They don't, they're not, they don't. They do. Then they've not curated it in a way that they look. Oh, that they're connecting. They're, yeah, they're not connecting nice in any flow. way. No, right. No, they're not connecting yeah. in any way. And in some of them, I think there might be sections of bigger pieces, um, but the majority of them are full pieces. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to open yes. the packs. Um, Let's get I've, to the packs. I've very, very, very carefully sliced open and kept some of the packs because they they're not designed to be opened easily oh by the way there's a howard the duck and possibly red sonia sticker Look that's that. red sonia <laughs> wow i love that With red foil of all the things to choose red for so these are sticker dupes as well what howard the here? duck's the best uh Groot. there's amazing spider-man cover to three seven eight maximum carnage Ooh, nice cool so yeah, those are the tubes as well. So anyway, I'll put those over there. Put those over there with the tubes. Tubes go over there. So the what goops. I've done is I have got since opening, this is just a random binder that I've got on it. So I've got my very carefully opened packs. So I've Ooh, kept some nice. and put them in this two nice work. page. That looks great. Um, and then the the binder is too big for any of the current pages I've got from Ultra Pro. So I'm having to keep that separate. I'm not going to be putting the stickers in the album. I'm going to get the pages that have got the slightly smaller pockets. Put them in yeah. There. Um, but I, I think have that's kept smart. the little baggie that the album and starts pack came in. So that I've got you that. You rockstar. Well. Yeah, I just thought, okay, I'm, you know, I'm just going to keep that it. That was good. Because I can add this to the Marvel 80th set that I've got coming from Upper Deck that's on EPAC. 
ready, ready to ship over to oh, me. Oh, nice. So I can have them kind of complement each other, even though they're very different things. So um, what I will say, first of all, is that this starter pack here, this sealed one, is yours, mm -hmm. my friend. And that's coming to you. No, 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 no. Are you serious? No, no it's yours. I bought it for you specifically because I've got one. I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to send you some cash for that. That's oh, way no, too no, nice. No, well, don't worry about it. Just um, that's coming to you. So what we got here? Let's open some packs. So yeah, so there they are. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do this. Um, are you ready? I am ready. So let's do this. So it's going to be, you've got to, you've got to go easy. You've got to go easy. Because when you meet resistance, you're hitting card. Yes, so that is a good rule. Side. And it, it does adhere a bit. So you've got to kind of oh open the pocket. Gosh. <gasps> mm. right, what we've got here. So the card is. Uh, oh, C50? cool! Who's that? I'm not sure. I thought. Did you have it? Is that dupe? No, I, I don't have that. I know. I need Yay! To because I was sorting them this morning. So let me just have a quick look at the album. <laughs> where where did I put the album? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. On the inside front cover, it is Warlock. Of course, it's Warlock. Oh, Warlock. By Sujin Joe. Is an artist I don't oh. know, but I know you will because you're into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great artist. Wow. So that's nice. That's C50. And then on the stickers front, we have C52. You got the last one in there. Ooh, Sorry, pretty. So I'm wrong. Lovely. No, 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 no worries. Okay, we got there's a Thor. Another Thor. It's a good Thor. And it's a great Thor. Have, uh, <laughs> Menace. Menace. Cover. Menace. That's an early. And then that's the that's towards the end. That's from the, the comic book. From the comic right. Book. Yeah. So that's nice. Damn. So there we go. So that's one. I gotta admit, this is one of my favorite new products. Like I really it's love nice. it. It's nice. I mean, you know I'm into it. Um I think ninety p a pack is probably quite rich. Um which is a dollar, right? Is that yeah, what it is? yeah, it is. I mean, oh, that's a lot. Yeah, I'm I can tie, see that I'm being a, a lot. Wood. I'm a tight wood. No, no, no. It is, I, I understand it is that. in the children's section of the supermarket. So it is. A dollar a card, though, for. for that set? That's, well, that's a pretty card, cheap set. Yeah. If you're going for yeah. The, yeah. Right. So this is the Panket. It's a dupe of that. Yes. America, perfect. So that's Panket. Wow. Panket is coming to you, my friend. Hello, wow. Panket. How are you? Panker. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> Oi, give me my shield back. <laughs> You're officially my hero. I love it. Oh, that is great. Uh, Howard the Duck on the sticker. I love Howard, Howard the Duck. The duck. Sticker. Who else we got? Uh, there's an, uh, that, that's obviously a section from something. Possibly Avengers. Mm, Iron Man the that. Avengers yeah. cover. Actually, Jusco just did a recreation of that cover. That's a section from that comic towards the end. Nice. And that is Grey Hulk. Ooh. Grey that Hulk. looks good. Yeah, right. Two more to go. Dum, 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 so, dum, so far dum, on these four packs that I've got to open, I've had one dupe and one that mm -hmm. I needed in terms of the cards. That's lovely. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Right. So, straight away at the top, we've got red foil on the sticker. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this in reverse order. I'm going to do the stickers first. <laughs> do it. Oh, I've just seen the card there. It's nice. It's not Surfer. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Fantastic Four. Isn't that beautiful? Awesome. So it's just, it's the thing. It's like the artwork's just like, will lend itself to any format. Oh, uh, that's Maybe. a Ramita Junior, Peter Parker. Oh, wow. I recognize his artwork anyway. Um, Oh, amazing fancy fancy fifteen cover. That's a great one to have. Yeah, that's a nice sticker there. Okay. And we've got that's a section from that recent Secret Wars cover. Oh yeah, that's yeah, Secret yeah. Wars. That's an Alex Ross piece. Yeah. Alex Ross has been knocking out some amazing covers in recent years. Oh man. This is C sixteen and it is Ooh. I'm not sure. Oh, Alex Ross, it's Miles Alex Morales. Ross. Wow, Hulk going on there as well. Yeah, so that's the series that Ross did. Let me have a look. The little um, because he did a lot of comic connecting covers and the stuff like that. Yeah, from I what so. I remember. Yeah, that is Spider-Man Generations. Oh, yeah, of course it's Generations. 
mm. which is the mm. one that covered mm. different eras of the characters. That's right. That's right. Um, I've no idea if I've got that. Oh, I'll have a look in a minute. Right, last one. I'm holding out for a go. sofa. A... I'm holding out for a sofa till the end of the night. <laughs> oh, it's one off. C34. Are you serious? Yeah, I unbelievable. Bought, I can't believe I bought this many packs and I've not pulled a surfer. Now you know However, how I feel. This sticker. <gasps> oh. It's that classic Avengers cover. That's a great cover. You know, the print quality on these are so pretty. Yeah. Would it be a Jeep? Who knows? Really, if it really is, nice. It, it's yours. <gasps> oh. Oh. That's the card. Oh. Look, the eyes, the eyes are the ones that have mm. UV. Um, that I think one of my favorite Jeep. artists, actually. Right, last three stickers then. Uh, that's Thor from that Kirby panel with Surfer. Ooh, ooh, yes, that's awesome. That one. That's the bit that goes in that bit that page we looked at. That's an Adam. No, I think that's Captain Marvel. I think that's Captain Marvel. Yeah. Red, Red Very Marvel. cool. And finally. I have no idea. That's a panel from inside a book, but I've no idea. Oh, <laughs> no idea. I don't know that one either. I know nothing. It's card number. It's, it's number one four two. Oh, so let's have a look. One four okay, two. Let's have a look. One four two. Open your. Hang on, let's have a look at the end. All right, here we go. One four two is from the Incredible Hulk. Right, Gary Frank, Incredible Hulk mm. four twenty from nineteen ninety four. Who knew? So there wow. we go. Uh, that's all I've got to open for you. Um, so well, that's Marvel, amazing. ATF anniversary sticker album. And if you get the European version or the UK version, you get trading cards as well. You're the best for putting this together. That is sick. Isn't it nice? I love them. It looks so, great. Um, that's all for this week, folks. Um, I haven't really got that's anything it. else to, to say apart from I still need to finish that set. And um, that's kind of my ongoing battle cry. I still need to finish that set. Well, if I get anything, it goes back to you, so no worries. Oh, bless you, dear. Bless you, dear. You know right it. Then. You know it. Thank you, everybody, for joining in. Um, Thank and you. And we will see you, or actually, no, you will see us, or you'll hear us, or something. Anyway, we'll be here next week. We'll be in your ear one way or another. Yeah. We'll Enjoy collecting, everybody. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>